is he? He's over there, not the guy. In, see, see the red tie? So the one to his left. The gray suit? Yeah. Oh, wait, what are you I'm an independent general. Oh, you want to talk to you? Maybe I'll put the Okay, so, so he's going to be in a press, press conference, conference like right here? Figure that yeah. out. I'm in a press conference with Eric Adams. going to be indulging. Who? Eric Adams. Oh, okay. When is, the, when is this going to happen? 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock? Okay. Okay, thank you. Wesley! Get the big You come on down here. Get the, the big side. It gives me great pleasure to come out and join uh, my long-time friend in government, uh, District Attorney uh, Charles Hines. I'm here to strongly endorse uh, his re-election. The uh, bylaws of the New York State DA Association do not permit an endorsement uh, of any political candidate. But I will tell you that on the, on the question of public safety, we have not had a better friend than State Senator Eric Adams. And uh, I can't endorse him. I'm sure I'll vote for him. Thank you. <laughs> Um, there have been a rise in police killings in Brooklyn um, of late, well, several high-profile ones, Timon Robinson, Chantel Davis, and most re recently, um, Kamani Gray. I know you met with the Davis family in August. Um, wh what are you planning to do to sort of address these issues with the community? Well, as we always do, we, we uh, in any kind of uh, serious police force allegation, we always present the case for the grand jury. And over the years, uh, we've certainly prosecuted our share of police officers, both for corruption as well as enforcement complaints. But those three cases you mentioned were actively, or actively investigated. And there will come a point where we'll present it to the grand jury, and the grand jury will decide what to do. So you plan on bringing these cases to the grand jury? We, we do. It's, it's a mess. In nearly 24 years, I've had the privilege of being the district attorney. That's it's been my policy to present these cases to the grand jury. Because um, it's been over nearly uh, a year since um, Chantel Davis shot in broad daylight uh, on Church Avenue. Uh, many people shot film uh, with their cell phones. And uh, I know officers collected it, and the family told me that you said it was for evidence. Um, people are anxious. Are, are there going to be developments? Can you give us an update on, on some of these cases? The, the cases are uh, moving along at the pace that we need. We continue to interview witnesses, we continue to wait for witnesses to be presented to us, and when the case is ready for presentation, we'll be sent to the grand jury. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Heinz, I know that was a lot to uh, ask you all at once. Maybe you could uh, just sort of give us some updates on the specifics. Um, particularly we're interested in what's been happening down in Church Avenue. Um, with Chantal Davis uh, and Kamani Gray. Um, have you met with the family of Kamani Gray yet? I'm waiting for uh, Councilman Jamani Williams to set that up. Okay, excellent. And um, any specifics on, on Chantel's? Because <laughs> um, there was all that video footage. Um, if that's was, pretty, if pretty. Was, if there was video yeah. that supported a crime, we wouldn't be talking right yeah, now. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Um, should people be concerned that these officers, um, you know, with multiple civil rights, um, you know, the city's paid out lots of money for their civil rights violations, and they're, they've now committed, you know, some killings, and they're still behind the desk um, at the 67th Precinct. Should the community be concerned about this? Well, I think the police commissioner has acted appropriately. He's uh, put them on administrative leave, uh, and he will do nothing uh, until our investigation has been complete. Stop and frisk the policy itself is a great tool if used correctly, and I think everyone agrees on that, um, but the hierarchy of the police department. And so when you abuse it, and you stop, and you intimidate innocent people, it erodes the trust that people have in their police department. And we need to do everything we can uh, not to erode that trust, but build the trust. So we're looking into this Kamani Gray thing, right? And he's originally stopped for adjusting his waistband. Um, do you see a connection between stop and frisk and some of the violence that's the high profile of killings that have uh, taken place uh, this year and last year? No, I don't. And, and I have one rule. Whenever there's a gun involved, uh, in, until reports come out that say uh, different, uh, differently, uh, there was a gun involved. And I think officers need to do whatever they can 
uh, to stop anyone that's in possession of a handgun. Uh, and so until I see something to the contrary, um, uh, that shooting uh, was a shooting that unfortunately an innocent person lost uh, his life. Um, but police officers have to have the right to discharge their weapon the number of times that they see to stop the threat. So I don't know, sometimes it could be one time, sometimes it could be 22 times, sometimes you could load and unload. Work with uh, Senator Adams. Uh, okay. Did you guys play protest weeks? No, I didn't. Go home. Uh, yeah. what, what brought these people sort of here? A joke because no one will talk or about it or seems kind of. I know wrong. nothing about it. Yeah. So, it's been uh, it all over real just wanted to, uh, to introduce. Oh, you oh, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Oh, sorry. I can get your like security here. No, I'm not secure. Oh, okay. Don't film me, please. Don't do that. Don't do that. It's not necessary. Uh, so, friends of Charles Heim, uh, who are they? It's a campaign committee. Okay, because yeah. it was just kind of weird. Like, we came What's and up, people man? were just sort of sitting with signs, you know, looking very placid, and then no one would talk to us and, or ask, you know, where they were with us. So, <laughs> so he genuinely, genuinely has community support, I yeah. guess. Okay. Yeah. All right, thank you. No problem. Bang, bang, boogie, y'all heard it. Represent, represent. Come here, you come over here.